A chief concern in mechanics is balance. Here you see I have a lever. The lever is 6 meters long. Here's a center point here. I labeled it C. And on both sides there are 3 meters. On the left-hand side, AC, I further divided it up into 1 meter and 2 meters. And I hung a point, a hung a uh, hook at, po at a point one meter to the right of point A. And I hung a 10 kilogram weight on it. Immediately, there was a rotational effect around the pivot point. This C is the pivot point. Oh no, I don't want that. I want a balanced lever. What do I do? I have to counterbalance this 10 kilogram weight that is positioned 2 meters from the center point. But here's the problem. I don't have a 10 kilogram weight. The only thing I have is this big old nasty 20 kilogram weight. What am I supposed to do? Well, there's a way to do this. What you do, or all you do, is this. Do a little bit of math. You take the weight, 10 kilograms, and you multiply it times the distance from the point where it's hanging to the center point. See, that's 2 meters. So 10 kilograms times 2 meters gives you what? 10 times 2 is 20. Kilograms times meters is kilogram meters. And what does that give you? That is called, that 20 kilograms is the turning moment of the force. Turning moment of the force. Moment of the force. Which means there's a rotational force of 20 kilogram meters uh, around point C at the moment. I want to get rid of that. I want that to be balanced. So, what do I do? I counterbalance it with something that equals 20 kilograms times 2 meters. Uh, 10 kilograms times 2 meters. But I only have a 2 kilogram weight here. 20 kilogram weight here. So, 20 kilograms times something is going to equal 10 kilograms times 2 meters. Well, which is 20 kilogram meters. Well, what would do that? Well, it seems obvious uh, in this easy example that the x would be 1 meter because 20 kilograms times 1 would be 20 kilograms times a meter would be 20 kilogram meters. So if I put this 1 meter away from C, right there, where I'm drawing it now, and that's one meter. If I draw that one meter from C, what will be the effect? Nothing until I put a hanger there. <laughs> now, let's see what happens. Now I attach this. And what do I have? I have two equal and opposite forces now acting on that lever. I have a total of 20 kilograms times 1 meter, which is 20 kilogram meters, acting on the right side. And I have 10 kilograms times 2 meters, giving me 20 kilogram meters acting on the left-hand side, effectively canceling out the turning moment of the force of the other guy. Each guy cancels the turning moment of the other guy. Wow. That's amazing. So, one more time. What do we call this... Uh, 10 kilograms times 2 meters? We call that the turning moment of the force. Let me write that down. This is called the turning moment of the force. Turning 
moment of the force. So if I'm going to cause a lever to come into a state of equilibrium on movement, then I have to get two equal but opposite ba or balancing turning moments of the force on both sides of the pivot, of the pivot point. The turning moment of the force of both of these weights times distance from the centers must equal each other in order to get a balanced lever. And that's pretty much all I have to say for the moment. This is George Bull saying bye-bye.